Welcome back to World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade Classic Blind. Over here, in Everlook, to finally take a look at hammersmithing. These guys are the three different options for some kind of elite specific weapon smithing stuff. We're gonna go with hammers. I'm listening. Don't too close, Eric Harrison. I'm liable to fumble and bash your brains open with the face of my hammer. This teach you how to become a hammersmith. Whoop. I will teach you the ways of a hammersmith. Just ask nicely. Please teach the ways of a hammersmith. Whoop. Do not seek death. new ability, hammersmith. Add it. The thing. It's in the skills tab. Um, Weaponsmith? Master Hammersmith. Okay. There it is. Lots of blacksmiths make special maces and hammers that are unavailable to the typical artisan weaponsmith. You would think you would think that weaponsmith would just kinda be everything, but apparently not. That's interesting. We just kind of got it. So I suppose we could have got this last time we were here. If it was going to be this easy. I haven't got all day. Dark lady, watch over you. Okay. I think this used to be a bigger deal. There's, there's like a whole quest thing where you made stuff for him. Similar to weaponsmith training. Apparently that's not a thing. And also apparently it's free. So, that's good. Great. Okay. Great. Time is money. Now I can make use of uh, some of these ores and such. Keep it real. Although I have slightly less direction since I don't need to make a whole bunch of hammers for them. Either way. This will be some blacksmithing. And probably some first aid too, since we got plenty of cloth. So we will head back to Ironforge. See what we can do. I think first I'm going to look at first aid. We can get some experience with mage weave cloth and some with rune cloth. What do we have here right now? Heavy mage weave. Doesn't look like linen or silk is too useful for us anymore. Let's see what we got. Well, we've got all these silk cloth for basically the same price, vendor or auction. Really don't need these anymore. Twenty more in the bank. There they are. Let me just kind of get rid of those. A lot of mage weaver, that's fantastic. And just a little bit of rune cloth. We got 50 more, 58 more of these in the bank, huh? There's some. Oh yeah, we got we got tons of this stuff. Watch your back. I could turn in this silk cloth for reputation, but I don't think that's really gonna be a huge deal. I think we'll just sell this to a store. We get a little bit more if we put it on the auction house, but I don't know if anybody's gonna buy this much silk cloth anyways, so. We're probably perfectly okay. Today? Just kinda selling this all off.
30 silver per stack here. That's pretty good. And then we have basically no room cloth. Literally two pieces. So what I'm gonna do is set this to create heavy mage weave bandages. Until it no longer gives us first aid levels. Oh, until it no longer gives us first aid levels or we get to 300. So, here comes all the heavy mage weave bandages you could have ever dreamed of. It's already into green, so that's not ideal. Yeah. I mean, we're losing a bit of money making these, but it's probably fine. We will see if we get to 300. But I will not make you watch me craft potentially a hundred more of these, so. There's gonna be a significant amount of time skipping here. So that's, that's good for you. Back in a bit. Managed to get to 295. Weirdly, rune cloth seems to be cheaper. We make some rune cloth bandages here. See if we can possibly get these last levels from that. And they definitely heal more too. I think we'll probably buy some rune cloths just to try to get these last levels. You got my attention. Do we put any of these in here? We don't need these anymore. Two of these are on the bank. Let's keep a handful of these around. And we're gonna be switching to rune cloth here, so. Be good. We could probably get the recipe for heavy rune cloth bandages right now. But that would require a trip to Theramore. Let's see what we can do with a bit of rune cloth here. See if we can get some. Auctioneer. Rune cloth. You make stuff, you make heavy rune cloth bandages. Kind of rune cloth bag. Rune cloth in general. That's yeah, more expensive than I said it was. I think we'll save it for now. We will sell these other stacks of bandages we don't need anymore. We don't typically end up using too many bandages. Okay, these are these are probably all nonsense. There's no way a heavy mage weave bandage is one gold. There's some weird prices here. Let me browse. Bandages. These are nonsense prices. Heavy room cloth, which is way better. It's only like 14 per unit. Room cloth is 59. The prices of these don't make a lot of sense. Price per item. Let's make something a little bit more reasonable. Like. Mage weave cloth. How much is mage weave cloth at least then? I get some information. 
50. Yeah. We're gonna sell these for... 20. It's still a loss, but there's no way anybody would actually buy these for a gold each. Five stacks of 20. At 20 silver each. That seems more reasonable. Those other prices were kind of silly. And I'll keep these ones, I guess. Alright. So we can do a... Full scan here. Because next up, we're going to be doing some blacksmithing stuff. I want to see if I can get some accurate information about my ores and bars and all that. I guess the first question is going to be, what can we make that will level us up nice and easy? Not that. Not that. Elemental air for those. Big complicated things. Mithril coif needs cloth, which we just use a whole bunch of. Mithril pants. That's probably going to go with. It's just mithril bars. I'm trying to get a few levels out of that at least. There. So I'm gonna need. Probably gonna want the thorium more. For later. Silver, gold, and true silver. I'm not sure I really necessarily need. Mithril, or. True silver bar. Iron, dark iron. Tin ore. Their bar, steel bar, iron bar. We're probably gonna need a few rocks. Some description. Some solid, some dents. There's more iron. First thing, Mithra Ore, 27. Mithra Bar, 20. So that is a loss, but that's to be expected. Iron Ore, probably really don't need too much at this point. Looks like gold bars are more than gold ore. That's something. True silver. Let's see what the next things we unlock are, too. Talk to me. Training. 235. We get the Shatterer. Requires a whole bunch of things. Eventually that requires things. I think most of these are just going to be complicated items. Hearts of Fire. Me. Ah, here's a simple one. Thick leather, dense stone, 250. At 235, we got a few things. Let us see here if we can find anything more convenient than the mithril scale pants. Ah, plate stuff. Heavy mithril breastplate looks pretty good. What's 
the other map here. This one's only yellow. I think we'd be better off with the metal breast, the heavy mithril breastplate. Let's make three. That should get our, all the levels we need here. Two thirty-three. Two thirty-four. And two thirty-five. It's still a solid option. What's on your mind? Keep your feet on the ground. Up with you. None of you guys can train no. anything. So we learned the heavy mithril boots, which requires thick leather. We have some stamina. It's very defensive. Train me the heavy mithril boots. This one here is at 250. Okay. What's on your mind? And we can learn the shatterer. Train that. 245 here for the Phantom Blade. That's probably not going to be very good for training. So, there's something new at 245. The Shatterer. Look at that. It is a main hand mace. 31.7 damage per second. With a chance to disarm. So it's worse damage per second, and disarm instead of extra attack, so that's probably not what we want to use. It requires a lot of things. So we're probably going to have to make more Mithril Breastplates. And that means we're gonna need more mithril bars. Mithril bars definitely seems to be where we're, where it's at right now. We can smell some thorium. We could. That means like give us some mining levels. So I'm going to smelt the mithril and the thorium, and then we will see where we can go from there. I'm going to hold off on smelting the thorium for a second here. Seeing as how the thorium ore has an auction price of an entire gold, if we check in here at the smelting, the bar is only 25 silver. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're eventually going to want to use thorium bars for stuff, but for right now, it's probably not the best choice. Thick leather is not too expensive. It'd honestly, it'd probably be better to buy that and save two mithril bars. Two mithril bars. It'd be like 40. And the four thick leather would be 24. Yeah. Let's go buy some thick leather. It's 14 mithril bars each. We have 121. Fifteen. No. Eight. Yeah. You can make eight. That means we're going to need thirty two thick leather. And we have sixteen in the bank. Fantastic. How convenient. So we need 16 thick leather. We're figuring this out. We're figuring this out. Thick leather. Now 
we're probably gonna want more thick leather eventually there's only 10 I'll take those this one's 75 though so that's not great that's a six though Now this gives us the th correct things by item price. So let's buy... If we can only make eight of these, and the next possible things aren't until 250, we're gonna need at least double that. I think I could safely buy these three stacks of 20. Three stacks available. One bot so far. Those are the cheapest thick leather. That should be good. We're gonna have to wait for more mithril mining though. Technically we get some experience out of steel. I feel like iron are expensive. Ah, uh, we got other things in here from earlier. We will deal with that in a second. Let me go make my fancy boots. It's heavy mithril breastplate. That might be, might be tankier the thing we have in our tank stuff in the bank. We're only gonna need at least one of these though, so we can sell two of them at least. Recoup some of the costs here. What can I do for you? All three of you. Okay. Well, that's nothing. Heavy mithril boots. That's not even getting us to 245. That's the next possible thing we can unlock. So it's just heavy mithril boots. At least each of these is giving us a level. That's at least something here. And hopefully that stays the case. To. If the things at 245 and 250 aren't good r recipes, we're going to be in trouble. Plate feet. A bunch of stamina. What do we currently have? We got male feet with less armor, but 10 strength. And also more stamina. I think we'll stick with our iron heel boots. 242. 243. And it's still orange, so it's still good. Training. 250 is just gonna be sharpening stones. Does not have very many things left in here. Slightly concerning. I mean, the sharpening sounds are gonna be nice. Be good. 
We have sharpest stones. We should probably make some more. Since we're looking like we're not going to be getting 250. Heavy sharpening stones? Yep. We didn't bring any heavy stone with us. Okay. Sorry. So if that's not going to get us any more blacksmithing training. Phantom blades. Yeah, kind of like. Mithra bars and true silver bars. And lesser invisibility potions. Oh no. Icar of undeath. Solid rhinestones. Cores of earth. Hearts of fire. These all look like they could be incredibly expensive recipes. I, I need to find some super easy recipes somewhere. Maybe, maybe Armorsmith would be better for actually training. Oh, I guess it all comes down to how expensive these things are. Yes. Hopefully we can get some recipe. Hopefully we can get some levels off of the grinding stones and all that. Yes, my goodness. Okay. Let's sell I sell most of these boots. Today? I don't have an auction price on them. I kind of doubt it, but... Worth a shot, I guess. Recoup some of this. Maybe it's worth a shot. We just, we just updated the auction prices, so... Now, there, there is the question of... What is... The actual sale price. Because the auction prices are just whatever people put them in for. That doesn't actually mean anything. It's a possible hint at what it might be. It's not great. Fill that up. Another one of these. Turn out as old for rock. Need heavy stone. Make some more of those. So this has 358 armor. This one has 536 armor. That's probably more tankerific. One of these boots. I don't know if there's ever gonna be an instance where we want to have this super tanky stuff, but it's here if we ever feel like it. I don't have any more mithril anything in here. Be good. Okay. It doesn't look like iron and steel is really going to be a huge thing for us anytime soon. I think we'll just kind of sell off some of that. Four stacks of one at 188. Yeah, see, that's not that's not the price it said either. We, we just did a full scan. Maybe that was a previous and it didn't override. Ah, these are in here though. Mm. That's close to the disenchant value, so people might buy these. Let's sell seven. Give people a nice hefty. What, what's the? We need to consider the deposit. Deposits two gold on all of them. It's thirty. Ah. <sighs> It's still okay. Mm. Well, we'll try it. If they don't sell, a little lower price. If they don't sell here, we can just sell them to the store. It's a similar price at any rate.
Come get your boots, everybody. Iron ore does not feel like something we need. We'll make... Two stacks of 20. Sell the iron bars. Steel bars. Iron ore. The silver ore is a lot right now. I think we'll toss that in. True silver, tin, just don't know if we really need any gold. Worst case scenario, we end up just buying them back for the time being. Pretty much everything involved in blacksmith just at this point, it's going to require a whole bunch of random stuff. It's going to need money more than that at this point. The rocks aren't worth anything, for the most part. Probably sell some of these. Do I want to keep my thorium? I feel like there's... I feel like I did not see much things with thorium required. That just that just might be me. Box not here, mate. Injury cloth, room bandages. Got some of the solid stone. We're not gonna need this much solid stone. That's basically anything. There's some bronze bars, that's not worth much. Here's a th here's thorium armor. Blue sapphire, yellow crystal powder. That's at 250. That's not bad. Three? I'm go for an aquamarine, huh? I want to sell some of these. These are expensive. Just trying to make some bank space at this point. I don't think we really need the green dye anymore. That was just for green iron stuff. We've kind of passed that. Fox. Watch your back. Let's see if any of these recipes require these various gems. If they're more simpler recipes, maybe. It might be the case that we need to, like that thorium armor blueprint we have in our bank, we might need to find recipes instead of just getting them all from trainers. And there's a the question, can we actually use that recipe since we're a weaponsmith? Mm. So phantom blades. True silver bars, lesser invisibility potions, aquamarines. Let's see, the aquamarines are apparently three gold each. And this uses six. Yeah, but I would never I would never use that recipe for training. That's insane. 
two silver bars. Those are also expensive. Solid grinding stones, thick leather. I guess we just need to hope that the core of earth is reasonable. 260. Heart of fire. Breath of wind. Just of a champion is star rubies. That's these ones. Two handed sword. And Breath of Wind, and 16 True Silver Bars. Great Earth Function. That's, that's, that's at 330. I, I feel like we're missing a whole, whole tier of things here. Adamantite, yeah. This Adamantite stuff. These are Mithril. That's Mithril. This one's Adamantite. I feel like we're, we're, it's like we're missing the entire thorium tier somehow. Weird. Up with you. I think we were. I think we'll be good to. If, if nothing here uses thorium, I guess we can just sell it for now. Mm. Heavy sharpening stones. How many more do we want? This lasts for an hour. And how are you? 250 will be able to make dense sharpening stones. Yeah, we're really behind on this. That's only 35. We just damage down by 8. That's really good. See you soon. We're gonna need more mithril to get to that point, so. I'm gonna make. Four more. I don't have much in the way of heavy stone either. I would do solid sharpening stones. I guess we do solid. That's better. Yeah, we should be using solid sharpening stones. We've got a new. We've got an eternity of. solid stone right now. So I think we can swap these in. But we do use two at the same time now, so that's something. That's, that's gonna be another problem with hammers. If we, get, if we make ourselves some hammers, we're gonna need weight stones instead of sharpening stones. And those use silk cloth, but that, that's really cheap. We can get that anytime. For right now, though, we've got a sword and an axe. I guess if we're using two at a time, that's probably a good reason to get a few more of these. Yeah. That should work. I think I'm going to sell off all these gems for Nat right now. And probably a fair bit of the solid stone. Be really. I really cannot see myself using the recipes that take many of these at the same time for any training purposes here. This really does not seem super viable. Want to put those in the bank. You got my attention. Heavy sharpening stones are not desirable since they're level 15 items. Get rid of the old chest plate. It's got worse armor than the new one. The strength is outclassed by our increased attack power, so. Get rid of that. Don't need any more green dye. I feel like we're 
I could search for recipes of thorium. There might be like this regular old thorium armor we can make. Then again, that might be in the armor smith class, so. That's another question. I think we'll keep the thorium ore for now. So we can figure out what we can do with it. Sell. Jade. Stacks of one? Probably stacks of one would be better. Star rubies. These are all very decent prices on these. Moss agates. Aquamarines. One of our lesser moonstones from way back in the day. Solid stone, let's go seven stacks of 20. And some bronze bars. Looking good. As far as dense stone is concerned, we only have 36 of it. So that will be something to worry about. So there's our heavy stone. We still have some coarse stone we probably don't need. Solid stone. We have plenty. Dense stone. Some mage weave cloth. Bandages. We have mithril bars. Or solid stone. Myth bars, thorium ore. Food for later, tanky gear, various items. Definitely have more bank space now. That's good. Hey, good. Let's deal with everything that's in our collection box here. We sold zesty clam meat. We did not sell scales. We did not sell this. We didn't sell the bow. We didn't sell axe. We didn't sell these fancy scales. Feels like a lot of these just had weird prices on them. Globes of water. Option successful, gold and pearls. Money. Sold some silver ore, some briar thorns, and another golden pearl. Okay. I think some of these values are just kind of weird. No. There should probably be. I don't know if there's more penalty for putting in. I think the. auction house price that you lose is based on the vendor price. So, get yourself some really cheap things you can put them in for weird auction prices. Okay. That's okay though.
Let's look at first aid. You got my attention. Hold these. Watch your back. You can just get some rune cloth here. Would probably still be worth it to get the large rune cloth bandages for this. Stacks of 20 you think we're gonna need. Worst case scenario, we can keep them to make more bandages. Let's buy two stacks. That should do. need five more levels here. Four more levels. Three more levels. It's interesting how cheap rune cloth is. I guess it's a higher level resource that you like the other cloths and just get a whole bunch of. And so people have... As people are training more on that level of thing that drops rune cloth. There's a larger supply for it. Or something. First aid, 300. So that is our second 300 after cooking. We could probably get fishing easily enough. Mining blacksmithing are definitely the slower thing here, though. But it's all a work in progress. It's all good. Hello. We got leather, rune cloth, bars and ores, rocks, more fish. Up with it. I think that'll do me for now. We spent a bit of money. We also have quite a few offers in the auction house. See if any of those come through for me. We got. Just a few blacksmithing levels out of all this. Since we could really only make use of the mithril. That's okay. I have intentions of getting to Ungoro Crater very soon. Last thing, well, depends on what time things happen, but last thing I want to get done is I want to head back try to do this warrior quest because it's a warrior class quest it could have some very useful rewards for me and we need to fight 50 guys which are level appropriate so we're going to be making use of all of our various buffs we got over in the blasted lands next time goodbye yeah,